Welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, I'm just gonna give a quick update about Sidecoin and then uh, Monero, right? So uh, when you take a look at Sidecoin, right? It is a, uh, it is uh, actually one of you know the uh, most promising coin. I thought like they're gonna do well in uh, March, uh, but it took like all this time like uh, making this uh, you know bull flag, right? So when I made that video, we were just about this area of like, uh, you know, 61 sats, right? 61 to 60 sats. We went up like to a 71, 74 sats. That's almost like 20% move to the upside, right? And then now we're making like a nice bull flag and ready to uh, break this uh, bull flag. Just like I said about Monero, like uh, on my previous uh, altcoin date update, as soon as we break this area of, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about Monero next, right? But Sidecoin, you know, made something like a very special, right? It made a very special move. This type of move, it is actually what a ICX is making, right? A very impulsive wave to the upside, a nice bull flag, both the R side and then the price, they're moving like this. They they both, they both moving, you know, on the same direction. So it is pretty powerful. A big support from this area of 50 MA, a fire wave structure to the downside, just like Dash, right? Uh, and, uh, uh, ethereum classic right i covered ethereum classic uh, yesterday so just like dash and ethereum classic you know it pushed to the upside that's the most bullish candle you can see just about this area right the last let's say since like a you know mid uh, uh mid march right like a couple weeks ago that's the most bullish candle so all you know all uh you know side coin needs is just a uh, just like a low volume like to push to the upside the r side looking great right a bull flag with a 57 r side you know uh, you know both r side and then uh, price you know are moving together it is pretty powerful right even if you go back and take a look at the uh, walton walton is up like almost 60 percent the last you know five six days you know i was pretty bullish on walton and populous if you've been following me i said like walton populous and name i have a special video for just walton populous and name you can go back on my playlist and uh, check them out on my videos uh so walton went up 60 percent you know in just like just about seven days pop uh Sirecoin is making the same type of move right same type of pattern below this area of 50 ma you know when i cover walton walton was just about this area of 50 ma pushed to the upside a bull flag just got a uh, support from this area of a uh, 50 ma let me just show you walton very quick when you take a look at the chart of Walton, right, same type of pattern. Walton just has a better a, a better volume, so the chart kind of look cleaner. So, but when you take a look at the uh, the chart pattern of Walton, uh, a nice you know accumulation move just about this area of 50 MA, right? A push to the upside. You take a look at the R side, another push to the upside. Got a re got rejection from this area of 100 MA, right? R side came back just about this area of 48, right? The lowest R side got was like 48, right? And then you know got big support from this area of a 50 ma a 60 percent move to the upside what i'm expecting from walton to do is just like to make a bull flag very shortly uh, i don't think like this uh, move is pretty healthy uh you know most people are going to be taking like profit so definitely so most i don't have any walton so uh, i kind of like uh but i don't have any walton at this time but yeah uh, walton is looking great so let's go back to a uh, side coin so basically when you take a look at Sidecoin, it's the same exact move. The chart looks the same, falling wedge below this area of 50 MA. Didn't even get any rejection, you know, on the final move, right? Like a very strong push to the upside. It went straight up to the area of 100 MA, a bull flag, right? Five-way structure, five-way structure, just like Dash, right? And uh, Ethereum Classic. So what I'm expecting um, for Sci for Sidecoin to do, as long as we get like enough volume, uh, I'm, I'm expecting Sidecoin at least to go back like to, uh, let's say, because uh, it doesn't have any area of resistance, right? So it is pretty aggressive. So, and uh, if it wants to be, it you know, it can, uh, you know, give you like one of those like, uh, you know, big uh, move to the upside, you know, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But my ultimate target for Sidecoin is just, just about this area, right? Like a 94 to uh, like a, uh, 84 sats, right? 94 to 84 sats. So. 940 84 sas let's say uh, sometime you know in april right but Sidecoin is looking great let's go ahead and take a look at monero when you take a look at monero uh if you watch my previous uh, altcoin daily update 
you know, I've been um, extremely bullish on Monero, like, uh, you know, f been following Monero since like uh, 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 mid of February, right? When people are saying like, you know, Bitcoin going to go go down, they just not following altcoin. So, but altcoin are too bullish for Bitcoin to fail. You just got to remember that. So, Bit Bitcoin is just like uh, basically supporting altcoin at this time, right? So, you know, when you, if you've been following me, you know, like, you know, I was pretty bullish when Monero was making this type of move, right? It pushed to the upside, got rejection from this area of uh, 100 EMA, came back down to this crossover, got support from the previous uh, trend line. Now, you know, we just broke this area of uh, the previous trend line. If you watch my previous uh, altcoin daily update, I said exactly. As now as Monero is, you know, close, closes above this uh, trend line, that's it. That's exactly what I said, right? And then we like almost like 15% up from this trend line, right? Let's let's go ahead and take a look at it. Sometimes people are drawing too many uh, trend line on there. We're like almost 10% up from this trend line. So uh, the privacy coins, they're going to be dominating uh, very shortly. I'm not sure if, you know, this trend going to be continuing uh, from Dash, Monero, Verge, Navcoin, but they're going to do well. So I'm not sure if they're going to, you know, continue this uh, whole trend this, this whole month. No, or it's just like, a, or we're just going to make a bull flag afterward. But after this uh, big accumulation move, like started since like a mid, uh, mid December, to like you know first week of april so it is like almost like a, over three and a half months right of accumulation move to the upside so you can just expect like another big move just like that to the upside right the next you know 30 to 45 days so keep an eye on monero uh, going back to uh just about like uh, let's say going back like to uh like september high so at least for the short term right we could be going back to september high before end of the spring so Monero is a uh, pretty bullish. I'm gonna update Neo Gas, uh, you know, uh, uh, Chainlink. Chainlink is looking actually great. Like I said, it the current price of Chainlink is just about like a like third. Like last time I mentioned Chainlink, like was like eleven thousand sats. Right, right now it's like almost thirteen thousand sats. I think. But uh, keep an eye on Chainlink. Let's go ahead and just take a look at Chainlink. When I say the, uh, I actually never covered chain link, right? But I just be monitoring it. So nice bottom formation. It pushed to the upside, came back, retest this area of a, uh, you know, uh, just about like a 50 and 100, and another push to the upside. So I was expecting chain link to come back down to this area of 50 MA, but you know, chain link doesn't want to be that bearish. So uh, not 50 MA, but a 50% Fibonacci. So it just got a support from the 3A2. So and then if you've been following me like since December. You know how important the 3A2 is. 3A2 level is like one of the most important FIB level. Not one of the most important, but it is pretty powerful on a uptrend. Uh, as soon as you get a, uh, as soon as you get a, uh, you know, a big support from this uh, 3A2, and then a, uh, uh, you know, fit, uh, you know, your area of a, you know, 50 AMA, it is pretty powerful. You can go back and watch my Ethereum, you know, videos back in like a December. Uh, when Ethereum was getting like like a nice uh, pullback from this area of a uh, 382 and then a uh, 50%, I mean not 50% but a uh, 50 AMA, you know it went up like from like almost hundred dollars to like 160 dollars. So keep an eye on Chainlink and then uh, you know most of the uh, Chinese projects they're gonna do well. So I don't I don't I don't I don't own any uh, Chainlink right. So but I like the chart. So I'm gonna update Neo Gas. Uh, you know. And uh, my altcoin daily update tomorrow. Uh, Alt are looking to uh, to bullish, right? So keep an eye on name also, right? I'm gonna include name in uh, my t tomorrow uh, altcoin update. All right. If you want me to include any uh, any altcoin tomorrow, make sure to put it down. You know the comment section. Uh, I make sure to make a, a very special uh, altcoin daily update tomorrow with a timestamp. Uh, it's probably gonna be too long, right? Maybe like a, you know another 25 minutes or, or 30 minutes at least. Because, you know, art are too bullish, right? So, that's it for today. Let me know what you think down below the comment section. If you like the content, make sure, you know, to, uh, you know, give a feedback. And then, uh, you know, let me know those altcoins you're interested about. Thank you for watching.